Well, here we are at uh, Kangaroo Island. Travelled as a family just uh, for the last week, heading up from home, up through the Grampians in uh, Victoria, uh, followed by Victor Harbour and then on the ferry to get over to Kangaroo Island to chase some beautiful landscape images. And I tell you, this island is absolutely stunning. It's oh, it's a it's in a it's in a league of its own. Pristine beaches, beautiful rocks. The, it feels like you're almost driving through the outback when you're in the middle of the island. It's absolutely gorgeous, guys. So while, while I'm over on the island, I've, because it's a family trip as well as, well, not really a photography trip, but you know what it's like. I'm uh, just, just always got the camera with me and uh, capturing a lot of shots. And now while I'm over on the island, I've, uh, I've caught up with another landscape photographer, Julie Fletcher. Now, if you haven't seen her work before, do yourself a favour and check it out. It's absolutely amazing work. She lives up in uh, Outback South Australia, and her work just captures the, the iconic Australian image, the images. They're beautiful images. Uh, that's juliefletcherphotography.com.au. The plan is to come back here first light in the morning, and uh, the tide here is meant to be very high, so at the moment it's coming in, and it looks like it's going to be a monster tide. So I'm just taking a few sort of test shots at the moment of the rock pools and, and the water swelling just to see how we go and um, yeah, we'll see how we go in the morning. made the executive decision to to hang around and, and get some shots because as we said the tide is heading out at the moment and it's exposing a lot of little rock pools which are now safe to access well mostly safe I, I did cop one splash but that was probably uh, an error on my behalf not reading the swell correctly now the sunset didn't throw out a whole lot of color because there's a thick band of gray cloud on the horizon but it did light up some high wispy cloud above the cliff to my left now I haven't videoed any of my compositions while I've been running around getting them because as I said the swell is ridiculously high and it's been splashing the cameras copped a few splashes I have and oh mate it's it, this is adventure this is what it's about I tell you this place is phenomenal so look here's some of the shots I've just taken Can't wait to get out of here first thing in the morning again. I'm definitely heading out on the hike with Julie again. This is fantastic. Uh, it is going to be high tide, so all these rocks aren't going to be exposed. So look, what we'll be concentrating on the morning is compositions on the uh, the rocks back on the beach and just trying to capture that nice that nice morning light as it's probably before the sun actually comes up. Um, just that pre-dawn lighting. It's going to look great, guys. I can't wait to get back here. Anyway, I'm going to retreat before uh, any more of these large swells come up to me. Alright, up bright and early, back to the same location again this morning. Now the location we're at is it's, um, the mouth of the Rocky River as it's going out to the ocean. It's uh, about a 40 minute hike from the car park along Snake Lagoon track, but we're expecting the tides to be a lot higher than what they are this morning. They just haven't come in as much as was expected. We were hoping that they were gonna be 
touching the rocks at the back of the beach, but it's nowhere near that, unfortunately. It's, it's basically the same height as it was last night. It's cleaned some of the beach up, cleaned some of the footprints, but any composition up the back can't be done because there's just footprints everywhere from, from yesterday. So while yesterday evening I was concentrating on the rock pools around the side of this little inlet, one composition I didn't get because of the, the harsh evening light being straight out from this inlet was uh, using a little backflow channel that the, the tide's creating. As the water swells in from the ocean, it's coming up to this corner of the beach and then it's, it's creating a little channel back out to the ocean, just hugging the edge of the rocks. It's a very subtle line, but I'm going to attempt to pull that out in the photo. Just, just use that as a leading line into the, into, the, into the rock structures, leading back out in the ocean. So I'm just going to go have a look at it now, wait for the right swell to come in, forward as it's going back out, and, uh, and capture, this, capture this motion. All right, I'll see how I go. taking a test exposure and it's looking absolutely stunning guys the the morning light's so soft it all just looks so so calming despite the raging ocean out there it's very muted as far as the colors go now I'm just waiting for the right wave to come in again you would have seen me duck out from the last one it comes in pretty quick here and uh, yeah I don't really want to get too wet all right it's looking not too bad at the moment so I'm gonna duck out and try and get this so I'm just trying to try and get this before the next wave comes, which is on its way at the moment. Just trying to get my level right again. It's almost done. All right, quick exposure. Two seconds at F11, ISO 100. I've got the water almost up to the tripod at the moment. It's stopping just short. That's a very subtle shot, guys. I had to knock the exposure back just one notch to about 1.6 seconds. Just waiting for that backfire to create the patterns in the sand again. Now what I'm really liking about this composition is not only is the water leaving the backfire channels but I'm also getting, because the water is quite smooth on the sand here, I'm also getting a nice reflection of the cliff on, from the other side. Now you would have seen from the other shots that I did this last night at sunset as well, that cliff lit up beautifully. Um, right after a wave came in, I quickly ducked out with a handheld shot and got just basically that cliff with a reflection of it all lit up by the sun. This is looking, this is looking very nice. It doesn't have any massive amount of you know, colour or anything like that, but the composition is beautiful guys. go through a whole lot of uh, talking with the settings or compositions there because I was that swell was so insane this morning so unpredictable um, I managed to get half a wet leg soaked shoes uh, salt spray on all of my gear again which is a uh, never a fun thing to deal with but um, I think we've come away with some absolutely stunning images uh, the, the color of that water is phenomenally blue it is gorgeous uh, and those rocks oh, there's just some awesome patterns in there, some beautiful structure. I'm, I'm absolutely stoked with this location. It's, it's off the beaten track. It's a 40 minute trek back to the car from here. So it's a little wonder you don't see too many people down here. Well, I guess I'm um, gonna hit the track, get back to the car now, get back to camp and have some breakfast because I'm getting hungry. Thanks for coming guys and uh, catch you later.
Oh, big wave coming in. <laughs> and that's how quickly it turns. Got a little high spot here where it, where it can't get to me. <laughs> Have a look at it. That's where I just was.